Google My Maps is a powerful web-based map generation tool. It allows you to create customized maps that can be shared and collaborated on with your students. Let's get started using Google My Maps. We'll begin by launching our Google Chrome browser and heading over to our Google Drive. Once in Google Drive, let's create a new map by tapping on New, selecting More, and Google My Maps. And here is our blank map. Let's begin by giving it a title. We can also add a description if we like. You'll notice the map is a blank world map with borders and labels on it. We can zoom in and out just like we would in a tool like Google Earth. We can also change the appearance of the base map by tapping on the small arrow to the left of base map in the toolbar. Here we can change the color scheme and general appearance of the map to whatever we like. Let's use the satellite view in this example. Once we have our map set up, we can zoom in and begin adding content. For example, let's say I want to add a marker here on this, the Aleutian Trench. To add a marker, we tap on the Marker button and click where we'd like to drop it. Then we give our marker a title and a description. We can also add images by tapping on the camera icon. Here we can upload images or search for them. Let's do a quick search. I can select as many images as I'd like to attach. So I'm going to add this one first and then tap the plus button to add some more. Once I've added all of my images, I can tap on the Save button. Now I can add additional content or edit the appearance of the pin itself. Let's do that now by clicking on the paint can. We can change the color of the icon as well as the appearance of the icon. There are quite a few to choose from. And now our pin is created. Users can now tap on it to access all of the information that we have added. You can add as many pins as you'd like all over the map. We can also add lines and shapes to our map by using the line tool. Simply tap on the icon, select add line or shape, and begin drawing your shape. Once you've added your shape, you can give it a title as well. Just like with our point, we can add images and videos and change the appearance of our area. You can control how transparent it is, as well as how thick or thin the border is. When you're done, you have this interactive shape which can be clicked on to access information. One of the really powerful features of Google My Maps is the ability to upload content from a spreadsheet. Let me show you what I mean. I went to the USGS website and I downloaded this spreadsheet here, which has information about all of the recent earthquakes in the last month that were over magnitude 2.5. You'll see it's a huge amount of data. I can actually add all of this information in the form of little points to my map so that I can see where all of these earthquakes happened. Let's go ahead and do that. In Google My Maps, what I want to do is add a new layer to my map and I'm going to select Import to import that data. Here, I'm going to upload my CSV file, which is my spreadsheet, which I have saved on my desktop. The file will upload, and Google will try and look for location information. In this case, I need to select Latitude and Longitude. Google is smart enough to have already done that for me. 
I also need to select the title for my markers. So I could have the title be the time of the earthquake, the depth, or the magnitude. I'm going to go with magnitude and select finish. And what we'll notice is that points are going to start popping up on my map based on the data that was in that spreadsheet that I attached. It may take a minute as that included a lot of data. And there are all of my earthquakes. I can tap on any of these markers to get the details of the earthquake, including everything that was included in that spreadsheet. So as you can see, this is a really powerful tool for creating customized maps that can then be shared. So let's share this now. I'm going to head over to my Google Classroom and into one of my classes. And I'm going to create a new assignment. I'll give it a title. And if I'd like, I can add instructions and a due date and a topic. Now that map, just like any other Google Doc, was automatically saved in my Google Drive. So if I want to attach it for student use, I go into the Google Drive button. And I should see that map right there. And I can add it. Here's where it's really neat. Right now, I have the option for students to view the file, to edit the file, so we can actually add content to that map as a class in a collaborative activity, or I can even make a copy of the map for each and every student so they can work on their own individual copies. These are the same options that are available using any other sort of Google Doc. When I'm ready, I can tap Assign, and my students will get their own copy of the map. This is a great tool for using in any variety of Google My Maps is a great tool for collaborative and individual lessons in science classes, history classes, and virtually any application. It will work perfectly on any device, including iPads. Hope this was helpful.